All right, what's going on guys? Appreciate the love and support. For this video, I'm just gonna to talk to you guys about something I learned in the police academy. If you're about to go into the police academy, you're probably gonna end up learning tourniquets. Now it's not only for law enforcement, if you're in the military, if you work in a hospital, if you're EMT, medical service, anything like that, you're familiar with the, with the tourniquet, but pretty much a tourniquet is like a Velcro belt that if you are shot, if you have a wound on one of your limbs, your arms, your forearms, your legs, that's pretty much a device to stop blood flow. I'm not an expert. I'll be clear with that. I'm not a medical expert, so if I'm wrong with any of the terminology or anything that I'm saying, feel free to drop a comment, say something, whatever, but I'm not an expert. I don't have a tourniquet here with me, which probably would have made, made the video a little bit better, so bear with me. So let's say, for example, I got shot in the arm right here. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Help me, help me. You could either put the tourniquet on yourself or somebody else that's full. For example, somebody else is going to be helping. So, ah, help me, oh my God. They're gonna put the tourniquet around your arm. It's like a belt, like I said, they're gonna wrap it around your arm, not directly on top of the wound. Do not do that. You gotta go a little bit higher. I don't know the exact amount. I'm not a medical expert, but don't put it exactly on top of the wound. So, ah, wah, wah, wah. they're gonna wrap it around my arm. They're gonna strap it around, tighten it up. There's two little plastic pipes. I don't even know what they're called, bro. Like they're just, they're on there to pretty much once the tourniquet is wrapped around your arm or, or your limb, wherever, it's there to twist to make it tighter and tighter and tighter. And that person is just twisting the shit. And your arm is just getting tighter. After a while, the blood's going to stop flowing. It's going to save you some time to go to the hospital, go get an emergency or surgery, whatever you got to do. And boom, your arm's going to be saved. You're going to be okay. So in the academy, when we had our first aid training, that was which was like a week-long training, you learn CPR, you learn all that type of stuff. Um tourniquet training was also involved and before that i never knew what a tourniquet was i never knew how to use one or anything like that so they're explaining it to us pretty much saying like all right this is how you do it this and that go get a partner and um we're gonna simulate as if one of you guys got shot you gotta save your partner so we're just kind of like all right whatever back blah 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 this and that i picked my partner <clears throat> i don't know who went first or whatever whatever but <laughs> whenever I went, it was the same type of situation. We had to act like we got shot. Ah, 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 this and that. He came saving us, or saving me. <laughs> Put the tourniquet on. And he's twisting this shit. And twisting it, and twisting it. And I started looking at him like, bro, if you don't fucking let this shit go, my arm... Bro, the pain was... <laughs> that shit hurt. That shit hurts man and it was like bro i'm like and the instructors are like no the, don't we don't want to see anybody doing it themselves because you tend to do it a little bit more lightly when you just you don't want to hurt yourself you know you're not going to so they were like no find a partner and whoever your partner is make sure they're twisting us so you guys could get a real feeling of that and i'm my arm is losing color i'm looking i'm like yo what the fuck is going on right now man i mean he's a partner over there smirking and shit laughing i'm like nah hell no the next thing we had to do was we had to we had to reenact as if we got shot in the leg now not only will we had to reenact that we got shot in the leg we had to act like we were running to get help or just running away from something after we got shot so that means we get a shot, we got to get the tourniquet on our leg. And then we're not allowed to do it ourselves because, again, we're going to be a little bit more gentle. So whoever your partner is, they're twisting the fucking tourniquet tight, 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 tight. And my leg's falling asleep and it's hurting, bro. It shit hurt. And they're like, yo, you got to run across there. And people are just running. It's like you're running with a dead leg. Legs stiff as hell. You just fall. People are falling over. It's run it's That shit hurts. I'm telling you guys, prepare for it. Even after I graduated and, um, you know, I was I was working, we had in-service training. And I remember we had an in-service training where we had to, again, reenact as if we had gotten shot. But this time, we had to put the tourniquet on ourselves, which I said earlier is going to be a lot more difficult. You're, so we just pretty much had to just act like, you know, just let your, let your arm hang. With one hand, you got to grab your tourniquet, Place it on this and that, and then shoot with your with one hand and blah 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 this and that this and that. So again, it's all good experience and all training. Um, hopefully in real life, because this is real life situations that you guys got to understand. And 
Hopefully you never get shot. You never have to feel that pain and go through that shit. And hopefully you never have to be in a situation. But it's something that, yeah, it's, it's it will come in handy. Like, even if you don't have a tourniquet, even just like a bandana or just something that you know how to stop blood flow. If you know if you're with somebody or you're in, in public, you know, you never know what could happen and this and that. So it's just good to just be knowledgeable about certain things like that. But it's going to be painful. But... It is what it is, man. Appreciate the love, man. Stay tuned. I got some more coming for y'all later on today. <sighs> Catch you on the next one. Peace.